So recently I have been trading indices with ICT concepts and I've come across the NASDAQ 100 e-mini futures and I've been trading this strategy for, for the last couple of weeks recently and it's been working very well for me. So I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you subscribers on my channel. So let's get straight into the concept behind it, how it works, why it works and then we'll go into an example and actually an example that I took on the 9th of August that netted me 5% for the month. So let's go and have a look. Firstly, let me just draw out some, you know, just random price action when price is just moving around. So that's very similar to the actual trade I ended up taking anyway. What we've got here is we've basically got, let's say, let's make it blue as well. So it indicates the Asian session. All right, perfect. So basically we've got some price action, price is moving down. This we're going to know as external liquidity. This we're going to know as internal liquidity. This blue box here is the Asian session range. So essentially what we're going to go over and cover here is that when you come to the charts during the London session, what you'll notice is you have an Asian session range where price has been going up and down within the range. In fact, I should actually make this a bit more, let's say, indicative of the Asian session range. Okay, perfect. So there's the Asian high, there's the Asian low and price goes and raids that high or low. So this is the, the, the raid and the liquidity grab of this high. So if I just mark out this high here, let's go like that. So there's the Asian high, there's the Asian low. And normally what we're doing for the London session sweep or the Asian session liquidity sweep is we're waiting for price to take the high, look for a breaker structure, and then we take the sells. And as you can see, this is actually what happens here. But there's two things that I want to cover that actually improve the accuracy of this trading model, especially when you're trading on indices. So the first thing is you want to draw out and mark out any external liquidity and then any internal liquidity. So I'm actually going to mark this internal liquidity in a different color. Let's just go white. Okay, and let's just do this one in a different color as well. Let's go orange. Well, actually, let's go red. So we've got internal liquidity here that price creates and then price goes and raids. We've got external liquidity over here that price goes and, and raids as well. So essentially, normally what we look for is this high. Then we look for a breaker structure from some sort of structural move here and then price goes to the downside. But instead, what we're going to do this time is we're going to wait for price to take external liquidity as well. And then on the way down, we're looking for a breaker structure like so. And then we're looking for price to return back to a fair value gap, which is in here. And then we enter, we enter for shorts. And that's basically the model. So now without further ado, let's go into an actual example of this trade that I took again on the 9th of August this month that helped me get 5.04% on this trade. So let's have a look at that example. Top. So looking at this example, we can see we have the age session range. So let's just go ahead and mark out the highs and the lows of this range really simply. Just go and put that as blue again as we did before. Now all we got to do is firstly, we can mark out some external liquidity. So very simply, we have external liquidity to the left here. And let's just mark that out in red as we did before. And then we have some external liquidity over here as well. And then we can also just mark out this one as well because it's nearby. Let's just go for this one. So that's how my chart looked when I came to the charts. The second thing I waited for and looked for is basically for price to either raid the high of the Asian range or the low. So if I just play forward, we can see that price shoots up and takes the high first. Okay, in doing so, we've created some internal liquidity over here. So I'm actually not going to mark it out. Well, actually, I probably should mark it out. Let's just go in white like so. And basically, we can see that we have a two in one raid, right? Price creates internal liquidity, pushes up, raids it, raids the Asian high and then raids the external liquidity as well. So we can see we've got a lot of liquidity that has been built up in around this area and then price has gone and taken it. Next thing I looked for was very simply a break structure. So if I just play price action, as you can see, price is on its way down. It's moving down and I waited for price to close below 
this low here and as you can see we get that there and so very simply i'm just going to mark out this breaker structure as so and then finally once this had all happened it's about looking for a fair value gap to enter from right if we zoom in over here we can see we have a very nice fair value gap just over here like so so i spread out my fair value gap and then i was looking for taking shorts but then it's like where do i take the shorts from so very simply from the bottom of the box stops just above so it was about uh, i think it was 129 i had it at like that and then i was targeting the lows of the asian session range which obviously make the most sense now as you can see this is a 5.01 i think because of slippage and the momentum that price was pushing down at when i took the trade i got to 5.04 which makes a, a lot of sense anyway but as you can see when you look at this trade that we have external liquidity points here now when i set my tp i completely actually forgot about you know extending it to here or to here and having runners and this is a very good example of actually having tp1 tp2 and then tp3 especially with this sort of distance right so tp1's here tp2 is not too far away and tp3 is a bit further away where you're having like an ambitious long shot of where you want price to go so very simply if i just play price action you'll see that price actually comes super close to my entry here and just misses me initially i was thinking that spread would would have tapped me into this move um if i just move it here but i actually didn't get tapped in and at that point i thought oh maybe i missed a move price was moving down like this and it would move with quite a bit of momentum as well so i was thinking yep i missed my chance but what you will see happen is price actually comes back after messing around here and taps me in perfectly now the secret i guess you could say that i wanted to go over with you is the reason why i was so confident in taking this trade is because when price raided this external liquidity point here we could see that we messed around here but we created some sort of support here now resistance turns to support price comes down breaks tries to go back above again comes back down again now this is telling me this is a very important level and if we reject this level then price shouldn't come above this level again and as you can see price comes in rejects it pulls away with momentum leaving a fair value gap and that's what increased the confidence for me to take this trade so i took this trade um, at this point here as you can see we get a very strong reaction once we actually dip into the fair value gap for the first time and then you'll see we tap into it again again strong reaction rejection wicks and then that's it from there on it was literally boom tapped and as you can see uh, we also come back in and we raid this low here we actually don't end up raiding this one um if i remember how price just reacted and started to be choppy and move around but we can see we actually caused um a reaction here that price caused um, and built a support from so as you can see this was the trade i took very simple netted me a nice 5.04 percent um and i thought i'd share this with you guys with a with a nice insight into a strategy that i've been trading very similar to what i've gone over in the gold strategy um, and the previous london session strategy as well with internal external liquidity and again thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one